Hi, I'm Sean Smith. I'm here in Miami, Florida for the boat show where Beneteau is debuting the first 35 carbon edition in the United States. It's right behind me here. Let's walk through, take a quick look at it, and uh, hop down inside. The first 35 carbon edition. Here at the show, this boat has a vinyl wrap on it, a carbon wrap, which looks awesome. But really, it's with the carbon edition, there's a tall carbon mast and retractable carbon bowsprit uh, as well as a new deck layout for the first 35 that's really the big changes with this carbon edition so you're going to run asymmetric spinnakers the rating that we have in san diego is 75 so i think it's an aggressive it's a good rating fun boat to sail this is a it's a full race boat but also has a comfortable interior which we'll hop in and take a look at in just a moment so for the uh, phrf racer or um, fast family cruiser this is a great boat looking at the transom here it's very open you, there's a, a, a fiberglass piece that connects the cockpit as kind of a bench and protection for their safety in the cockpit uh, but also when you take that piece off you can easily walk and board the boat or if, whether you're carrying gear supplies for a weekend it's really convenient a really big feature and part of the new cockpit design here is this pivoting helm station so there's a little, there's a foot pedal that you depress and then you can put the helm into three positions. So whether you're on either tack, you can have the helm in an ideal position so you have visibility forward. And then you can also easily move gear in, uh, forward and aft rather than having a, a large wheel that's taking up the entire cockpit. This boat has the wireless Ray Marine instruments. You can see here in Miami, we've got 8.5 knots of true wind speed right now, sitting at the dock. The boat has the Yanmar diesel engine, 29 horsepower. This has got the spin lock. This is really cool um, throttle control here with the removable handle. The, the Traveler is there on the cockpit floor, which is awesome. The boat has an autopilot too, so I've got an autopilot control. And then you've got six winches. You've got your cabin tops, uh, primaries, and main sheet winch. It's German sheeting where the main sheet goes to both sides. So really your helmsman, main trimmer. And uh, for racing, this is a great setup for a crewed racing boat. Walking through the cockpit, you, we've got some cockpit cushions here, which is nice for family. Let's go take a look up on the bow. You've got adjustable leads for the uh, jib which is a 108%, so it's non, it's a, you, you can't put a big Genoa since you've got the outboard shrouds, but that's very helpful with the, this aggressive, it does have the tall rig, so going upwind is fast, and we also have a great rating because of that. Coming up to the bow here, you've got a large anchor locker. You've got a roller up there, which is removable for the anchor. You've got this um, really low profile tape drive furler, so your top of your head sail is very low. And then as you can see here, that is the carbon bow sprit, which is uh, retractable by pulling this line here. Pulling that line extends the um, bow sprit out. Really sleek, great looking uh, deck here. See here's the carbon rig and we've got the Raymarine master instruments right below. You've got fractional and masthead spinnaker halyards. Now let's go take a look down on the inside. With the hatches removed, you can easily, there's just three steps going into the salon of the boat. What you can see is beautiful with the teak finish, uh, alpy wood. And I, I love this design, it's uh, symmetric. So on the uh, port side, we've got the galley got a large stainless sink, large uh, refrigeration, two burner stove here, and then uh, you've got your aft cabin, which has a large bed going under the cockpit, and a hanging locker here. There's uh, plenty of storage, and then the way these handrails are, it's pretty symmetric. So the starboard side is your nav station, where your electronic controls are, your chart plotter, and then you've got some innovative 
cabinetry here for storage charts, uh, uh, race uh, information. And then central here, you've got a table with settees on both sides. So these leaves fold up if you're going to have dinner with a group of people. Um, in the center here is your water heater, so they've kept weight low and central. And then this whole table does pivot down for folding sails or packing gear. Car the uh, carbon mast is keel step. And then you've got two doors going forward into this V berth. So for launching spinnakers out of this hatch or just moving gear around, uh, it's, it's awesome. This makes the boat feel very open. And then you can see the carbon uh, retractable bowsprit comes into this tube uh, into the boat. Very high tech. It's a beautiful boat. Great race boat. The last thing I want to point out here is the head, which is very spacious. And also through the head, there's uh, access to the engine, which has its uh, primary access here. A couple of stainless latches give you access to the Yanmar 29 horsepower diesel engine with the isolated engine start battery. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the first 35 Carbon Edition at its U.S. debut in Miami, Florida. If you have any questions about this boat, don't hesitate to uh, text me or give me a call. Uh, shoot me an email and we'll get you more information and get you on board the boat.